So now we're gonna look at the Raspberry Pi. So over here. So we're gonna build the same traffic light as what we did with the Arduino. So now I had run the traffic light script with both traffic lights on and pushing the blue button, the LED goes on. And as mentioned, as soon as these, this yellow LED turns on, then the blue LED will go off. So here it is, blue LED is off. So we're gonna use the same with the, the Raspberry Pi. So you can do it at two ways. You can create a Python script via a Nano, the editor, or you can use Mu, which is an easy to use editor. The nice thing about the Mu is that you will see that the program runs directly. So you don't have to start your Python script uh, you don't have to go out of the editor and then run the Python script. You can do it directly here. With the Raspberry Pi, it's not that within Python, automatically you can address all those pins. There are libraries which need to be loaded. So when starting to write the program, we need to include some libraries. So first of all, I'm gonna include a library which controls the LEDs. It's the GPIO0 library. And if you install the Raspbian OS, the latest and greatest, this library should already be completely included. Looking at the Arduino, we saw that common marks were with the slash slash. Within the Python, you need to use a hash to comment out a line. So here I'm gonna do a include libraries. And the important thing is I'm gonna use LEDs and the GPI zero has specific options. So you can import a specific library from, in this case, the GPI zero. So from GPI zero, I would like to import the library LED. This will help me in enabling these LEDs. Next thing, we need to define the traffic light. So I'm using pin number five, six, and 13 in the GPIO zero library. So I'm gonna define pins for traffic light one. So I'm not gonna bother about the traffic light two. I'm gonna use those pins. So green one equals LED in five. As you already see, I don't have to put a mod in, in there because it's a, an LED is an output that is implemented in the GPIO zero LED library. I also don't use semicolons to switch between each command as I did in the Arduino. So let me show you the code for the Arduino. So we have defined green, yellow, and red. And we have put the p pin mode green, yellow, and red to output here. But that's what we don't have to do because that's already implemented in the LED library. So I'm gonna use a yellow one. That would be an LED, so an output pin. And that will be pin number six. And I'm gonna use a red one that will be pin number 13. Again, I don't have to use semicolons. Oh yeah, there is one library which I also need to add. That would be the waiting list. So if I would like to have a waiting, for example, for two seconds or three or five seconds, I need to import that as well. So from the library time, I'm gonna import sleep. I need to do that. Otherwise, I'm not able to use the sleep command, which is the same as the delay command in the Arduino. Next thing will be the traffic light initialization. Within the Arduino, we have a setup function and a loop function. With the Python, we don't have that. So I can just continue here. So first of all, I have connected the LEDs exactly the same as with the Arduino. So as a remark, we saw with the Arduino that you need to use high and 
low. In this section for the Python script, we use an on or a off. So LED on means, or actually the status on actually means that the LED is off. And the status off equals the LED is on just so you know that that is the same case as with the Arduino. So now we're gonna initialize, well, first of all, instead of using the function setup in the Arduino, I'm now gonna initialize. So this will be the hash initialization of the pins. So we have a green and I'm gonna put it on, which means it's actually off. I have a yellow. And as you can see with this program, it already shows you which one you can use because that's predefined. I'm gonna put that on as well. And the red one is also on. Instead of that, I need to put the pin mode to output and then a digital right to high. So let's continue. So now we're gonna do the yellow blink. So blink yellow that would be as follows i'm gonna put yellow off which is actually on i need to uh, put a sleep of half a second because sleep works in uh, seconds so this is half a second so now it's switched on now i can do a sleep again and then the yellow one dot on so let me copy this uh, several times so we have this. So let's see what the program does. Don't look at the, the second traffic light. It's the first traffic light. So let's run it. You see, the light is blinking and then it stops because the program doesn't continue because there is no waiting loop to happen. So now we need to create the loop function. Well, with the Arduino, you can do that in a for or a while loop. Here we're gonna use a while and then say true. So we use a continuous loop and uh, we need to use a colon after the true just to make sure that it's working. So with the yellow LED, I turn it off because as mentioned, a on status is actually the LED is off. So next step would be red will be switched on. Now I'm gonna let the application sleep for two seconds. After the two seconds, I need to do a red on to switch it off. And I need to do a green to put that on. So it's a little bit, so let the light be on. Is actually the off sign. Now I'm gonna let the program sleep again for five seconds. After this, I'm gonna put green off and remember on is off and off is on. I know it's a little bit weird, but that's how I use it. And you can use your own, of course. So now let's sleep that one for three seconds. And then the yellow one will be off again. And since this is the end, you see with the Arduino, let me go here. If we are having a, a if statement, for example, we use curly braces. And with Python, we don't have to use it to begin or end uh, either a loop or an if statement. It's the indent of the string. So in this case, I say while true, colon, red will be off. Let me uh, put a comment. This is on, LED is on and here is off so let's run it and see what's happening so we have a blinking led it turns red on then green for five seconds then a yellow does not go on i see that there is a error message you see here error message and we already see why, because the statement OFF in capitals is not there. So it should be OFF. So let's stop the script and let's run it again. We have a blinking 
LED, red, green for five seconds, yellow for three seconds, and red for two seconds, and it continues. So now let's do the same what we did with the button. So I have here a push button, so let's program that in there as well. So let's stop the script. Let's go all the way, all the way to the top. So here I'm gonna define the button and blue LED. So this GPIO0 has also a button section. So from GPIO0, I'm gonna import button. Unfortunately, they, instead of using all capitals, they use one capital B and the rest lowercase. So I'm gonna import that one. So here we're gonna define the blue LED. So it's gonna be blue. That would be then LED. And I'm gonna use pin number 20. And then the button. Now I'm gonna use capitals. I'm gonna use button. 21. So I'm going to initialize the blue LED to set it off, eh, as mentioned. On here is LED is off. And let's now go to the bottom of the while true. So here, as soon as yellow is switched on, I'm going to turn the blue LED off. Yeah. So, and with the button, I want to, to have the button detected if. So we're going to use an if statement, button, and with this library, there is a instruction called is pressed, which means it detects that the button is pressed. I'm going to switch the blue LED on. So let me put a mark here. Blue LED is now on. So I don't have to end this if statement because it's the indent which uh, does it. So let's run the command. You see the traffic light, this traffic light is working. So we go to yellow and to red. If I now press this button, nothing happens until I keep it pressed. It should somehow yeah, there it is. Switch the blue LED on. And let's see if it turns the blue LED off when the... Yeah, so you see when it turns yellow, the blue LED is off. But the same with the uh, Arduino. The program stops. So here, program waits. So it doesn't continue. Detect that it is doing the right thing. So... How are we going to do that in Python? So first of all, we need to import time. So instead of only importing sleep, I'm going to import the whole library time. So we have this already defined. So we define the pins, but now we're going to do the same as the Arduino. So I'm going to define a, an interval, two seconds, that would be 2000. It, it is the same in the uh, Arduino, except in the Arduino, since this is C programming, you need to define the type of this variable. So millis interval three seconds, so that would be 3000. Millis interval five seconds, that would be 5000. So next, we do the same with the uh, current millis and previous millis. So current millis, current millis, is zero and previous millis is also zero. So now we are at the initialization. It's not only initialization of the pins, but also the initialization of the values. So the setup portion here will still be the same. So I'm going to put current millis and previous millis. I'm going to put the same time in it. So current millis will be, it's an integer around time dot time times 1000 that means what it says here i'm gonna get the time of the time function i'm gonna multiply it by 1000 this gives me the milliseconds for 
this line. So I'm gonna previous millis is the same. So it takes a little bit more effort to get the milliseconds. So now I have set the current millis and the previous millis. So this is the set first millis. Another thing what we need to do, that's what we did. We have a traffic light state and the first state would be red. So it is define the traffic light state. So what we saw in the Arduino, so I'm gonna show you for both traffic lights. We need to switch the traffic light red already on in the setup area. So that's what I'm gonna do here as well. So I'm gonna do red one, I'm gonna switch that on. So now red is on. So I have a traffic light state, red one. So now this first section is not needed anymore because it's already on. So I can do the same as with the Arduino, with the if statement. So if traffic light state equals red one, then what do I need to do? You see the indent automatically occurs. I need to check on the millis. So if current millis, and I'm gonna remove the previous millis, is bigger than millis interval, so I can choose, I'm gonna use two seconds, then, so that's the next indent, I need to set the previous millis equal to the current millis, then I need to change the traffic light state to green, I need to turn the red LED on, which means it's off, and I need to turn the green LED on. So again, on means LED is off, and off means LED is on. So else, what do I need to do? I need to set the current millis to the current time. And that was actually, let me remove that one, I'm gonna put that on top here. That was actually this sleep section for red. So actually I'm gonna copy this whole section. I'm gonna paste it two times because the next step would be green and the interval would be five seconds. And then the traffic light goes to yellow. So here green will be turned off and yellow will be turned on. So next state is yellow and that will be three seconds and what do we do we're gonna change back to the state red so in this case it should be yellow which will be off and red will be on i actually forgot something here because we have still have the blue led so since we're gonna turn on yellow blue led will be turned off so let me see how far we are so this section is gone so the sleep five is actually over here i'm gonna comment that out this one we did x that will be over here and i'm gonna leave the blue led oh that's not true that one needs to go there so i don't have to do anything else so let's see so watch this led oh there is a uh, problem there is a statement wrong i put an n in there that statement doesn't exist so let's stop let's run it again let's see oh there is still a uh, error message indicate an indent does not match any other indent level so there was an indent issue uh, not everything was aligned at the same location so i realigned that and that solved the issue so let's run the program so we will see a blinking yellow led uh, red led goes on for two seconds green for five and then yellow for three so now press the button again the blue led will go on and the blue led will go off as soon as the yellow turn the yellow light turns off on so let's wait now we're gonna press it again and we will see the difference so the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi now functioning the same 
Let me open up the, the program which I wrote so that you really can see what is happening. I just added some uh, uh, print uh, screens to it. So let me save this one first. So I'm going to stop this program and I'm going to load the ones which I wrote already. So that's the milliseconds. So traffic millis. Let's run this one and you will see traffic light is initializing. Track is cleared, traffic light one sequence. So this is with the two traffic lights on, uh, as you can see. So if I press the button, both instances, you will see that the blue LED is on and it shows uh, the blue LED here on the Arduino output. And this is the Raspberry Pi output. So you'll see that the uh, traffic light here, the blue, if the blue light was on, it is now turned off and that's the same for the Arduino blue light was on it's now turned off if the blue light was on so this concludes this uh, uh, section of the tech tips on Tuesday uh, so we can see that we don't have to use the delay or the sleep in a program to have a uh, interrupt or actually a button press detector so this is it for now. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I will be posting on Fridays the layout of the table. So the continuation of the build of my end scale track. And on the Tuesdays, we're going to continue to work on the tech tips. In the next video, I will be talking about the various options which you can attach to your Arduino or Raspberry Pi. I have here a Arduino Nano, which is a smaller version of the Arduino Uno. I have here an I2C, these two. Those are I2C expanders in which each bus, this one is seven expansions and this one is eight extra IOs. I have a uh, H-Bridge controller, which um, controls motors. And I have a infrared detector. So instead of using the button, which I have programmed here. We're going to use the infrared just to uh, see how it works to program this on the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi. Um, if we want to do more of this, we need to expand our capabilities of the I.O. because the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi, they are not that limited. So we are going to use the I2C bus. And then we're going to use this one uh, to expand the I2C bus. So the nice thing about this one is we can connect them together. Actually, if you have two of those, you can connect them together. You need to be careful that the clock, uh, the data line, the VCC and the ground is exactly on the same position. But we are going to use that in the next videos to expand our traffic light. So this is a traffic light which is going to be on uh, the board uh, of on my table as well, just as regular traffic light. But I will expand each week on putting of adding extras and extras to it. So we might be able to use an LCD screen. There is no time sensitive on the Arduino, so we're gonna use a real time clock on that. So that will be all in the next episodes to come. So if you liked it, please. Uh, as mentioned, consider to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get notified, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, and goodbye.